Good morning everyone here from the Amazon in Brazil and today we're in a place called Presidente Figueiredo which is about two hours from Manaus we just came from there now in a car and we're going to be doing a tour here once again with uh, Iguana Turismo we've been loving all the tours with them so far I'll write down how much it costs because I don't remember at the moment let this pass. So we just had a gas station here, just gonna get a bite to eat. And this area is famous for its waterfalls. I think there's some lakes as well, but there's loads of waterfalls. So that's why we've come here. So yeah, we're just gonna eat something quickly and then we'll start the day. So I just got some fried plantains. What did you get? Biscoito de polvilho. Ah, okay. Cassava, right? Yeah. And it's got some water and coke. How much was all this, you know? 19. Yeah. 19. Yeah. So we're just starting the first trail now it's a group of five people so um, yeah I think he said it's only gonna take about 15 minutes to the first spot that we're going to do you know how long it is overall Kyle? Um, should be around an hour or something at this location yeah, yeah. First stop. and once again you do have to wear um, yeah closed shoes it doesn't have to be boots like us it can be trainers but yeah, it's been raining, so boots are better. Yeah, so there are some steep parts, so I definitely bring the uh, boots and not trainers because it's slippy as well. It's a 400 anos de 60 70 metros de altura. Um metro cúbico dela no mercado negro custa 5 mil reais. E também é usada para quê? Para móveis. Mas não pode ser uma casa. Não, não pode. Mas mesmo assim o O ser humano ainda destrói uma árvore dessa em pressão de segundo, desmonta e leva tudo em peça. Oh, wow. Well. Alright, the first waterfall of the day. É, eu não aconselho você a tomar banho ali porque é muito liso, onde caiu uma mulher aí quase quebra o braço. Tá. É, this spot looks super cool. There's a cave back there as well. So what was the name that he said? Maruaga. Maruaga. Refúgio. Refúgio do Maruaga. Refúgio do Maruaga. Caverna, refúgio do Maruaga. Yeah. Tá. Caverna, refúgio do Maruaga. So apparently there was a conflict in this region between uh, soldiers and Indians. And a lot of soldiers and Indians died. And the uh, Indians ended up hiding in this cave here that we're going to go into. Over 300, 400 Indians. And the leader, Maruaga, said that he'd only come out if um, yeah, they gave him land for his tribe to live on. So they ended up reaching an agreement, gave the Indians some land, and yeah, then the, the Indians, like 300, 400 Indians, left the cave. Yeah, so it's a bit dangerous to go under that one, he said, but we're going to be able to swim on the next waterfall. Hey, yeah, Felipe. Hey, gringo. Gostou da cachoeira, não? Gostei. Isso aí, mostra para os England lá. 
bonito, hein? A cachoeira. <risos> É, Felipe estava com a gente no, no outro tour. Sim, a gente, a gente tava... nem combinou. Sim, chegamos no, na outra cidade juntos também. Sim. E aí o gringo tá me ensinando a falar um pouquinho de inglês. Ah, é? <risos> <risos> também é vlogger. É, mais ou menos, é. Não muito, mas mais ou menos. Alright, so now we're gonna head into the cave. Well, look at it from this angle here, looking out of the cave. I think this angle is even better. Yeah, I love it. The, the cave is so big. Yeah, so we're not gonna go deeper into the cave, but the guide said it goes about 400 meters inside. Not sure where the exact entrance is. Now the trail is like a, a little river trail or stream trail. This is really cool. I thought it would just be like a jungle trail. Yeah, it's awesome. The rocks are so high. Yeah, and I'm we get sure. to do a trail like this. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're going up or, or if it's just like this. But... Yeah, I'm not sure if it's like this the whole way. But this looks awesome. <laughs> So even around here, there's other caves as well. The one that we went into was down there somewhere. I guess probably smaller. Carol, this is like some magical jungle scenery. Yeah. Yeah, fairy tale place. Like Avatar. <laughs> yeah guys, we have found the real life Avatar. <laughs> this is like insanely beautiful. Probably some of the most beautiful jungle scenery I've ever seen. Wow. So even the Brazilians are saying like, this is the most beautiful jungle scenery that they've ever seen. And these guys have obviously seen lots of different kinds here in Brazil, but yeah, nothing like this. It is Avatar, man. Wow, yeah, it's crazy, <laughs> crazy beautiful. Yeah, it is. Uh, so we finally arrived at waterfall number two. Probably took about 20 more minutes walking barefoot <laughs> it's shallow but yeah you can cool down it's like a beautiful golden yellow color it's also in kind of a little cave here as well similar to the other one even got a little beach over there <laughs> So the guy said that this waterfall is called Cachoeira da Judea and he said that the water, the water source, the majority of it is actually coming out of the ground. Obviously the rain contributes but yeah he said just close to here the water just comes out of the ground like a underground river or something. I think there are more little caves aren't there? Yeah. 
I wonder if they all connect inside. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, it's gonna be pitch wet. Hopefully, no animals hiding around here. Oh, you can go inside. Ah, oh, there's water in this one. Yeah, so you can see that it goes deep, but I'm not going in there. <laughs> not without a flashlight. So we're doing a different trail on the way back. Now we're going uh, above the caves. And the guy just said there's actually uh, 150 waterfalls around here. So we only saw two of uh, 150, but we're gonna see quite a lot more. So this is the main town area of Presidente Figueiredo. Check out that monument there. Like a indigenous guy with a what is that bow and arrow? And just like a lot of places in the Amazon, obviously it's just surrounded by the rainforest. So yeah, you even got a big river here. You can see some people swimming down there. And we're gonna have lunch somewhere around here right now. So we're heading out of here. We only stopped here just to grab a bite to eat. As usual, we got the tambaki the Amazonian fish and yeah it's great and this is the river that I showed before that flows through the city so they do have like a kind of beach area here and loads of tables and stuff there's actually loads of little falls here so I guess this is one of the main hangout spots and that's our group leaving over there so now we're gonna head to some more uh, waterfalls I think or, uh, or a lake something like that Probably the biggest pumpkin I've ever seen. <laughs> That's insane. Natural. So this next stop is called Lagoa Azul. The blue lake. This one over here. It was way out of the way, wasn't it? It's still like uh, 40 minutes or something. Yeah, but there's pretty much nothing else around here. Wow, beautiful color, isn't it? I haven't seen anywhere else with this kind of color around here in the Amazon. Usually brown or black. Carol, what is argila in English, you know? Uh, clay, I oh, think. Oh, clay. I think. Okay, so if she's correct, that's apparently the reason why there's this color. Because of clay. Ah, nice and cool. <laughs> Yeah, so the moment you come down the stairs, it's already neck height. Perfect height. <laughs> There's no more steps, so <laughs> jump in. <laughs> it's so peaceful. Huh? So peaceful. Yeah. No sound. Just the uh, crickets. <laughs> yeah, no birds at all. 
That's unusual for the Amazon. Wonder if there's fish in here. Huh? Wonder if there's fish. Probably. So it turns out there's not only this lake here, uh, there's another one over here as well. There's also a canoe here, sinking. <laughs> it feels like it's warmer. This one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the other one was colder. Uh-huh. <laughs> So this is going to be our last stop of the day, Cachoeira das Araras, Macau Waterfall. So Araras, or I guess Macau, is kind of a tropical parrot that's common in this region. We saw a few flying around, but yeah, kind of hard to capture on the camera. Doesn't seem like it's far because I can already hear the water. Sounds super powerful. Aqui, aqui não dá para nadar, não, né? <laughs> Tem chance. It's like blood. Yeah, I like the color. The blood waterfall. Wow, look how powerful that is. Guys, I think this is one of the most powerful waterfalls that I've seen up close. Man, that is crazy. Oh, there's one over the other side as well. Get a better shot from over here. Carol, this waterfall is scary. Yeah, you can hear like the sound, like how strong it is. You can literally hear it. Yeah, and the speed. Like if you fall in there, you're you're going miles you're away gone. quick. You're yeah, you're dead. <laughs> your dead body's going miles away quickly. Wow, that is scary. The power of nature. So there's some monkeys here, but hard to see the right at the top of the trees. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So we're heading to the second waterfall at this spot at Arara's waterfalls, and this also has like big caves, just like the first waterfalls that we went to. The scenery here is kind of similar as well. It's gonna get dark in an hour, so that's why it's not so bright right now. So apparently this bird here, this orange one, lives around here or uses it as like a nest, the little holes in the walls. Palacio Galo da Wow, so once again, another super powerful waterfall. Huge waterfall, the biggest one yet. Like the width of it. But this one you can swim in like areas over there. Obviously you're not going to swim right next to it there. I didn't realize it would be so powerful since they said it was okay for swimming. Yeah, oh, it's crazy. It's so high. Yeah, so high and wide. Yeah, yeah. It, it actually reminds me a bit of Lagoa in Mexico, but not because of the blue color, but just the, like how it looks. Yeah. How it's so big and the green. Uh, around. Yeah, it is very similar.
So we just checked into the place that we stay in and this is included in the price of the trip. So you have breakfast, lunch and a place to stay and obviously the guide and the transport. The only thing that's not included is uh, dinner. But the guide is gonna take us to a spot later on um, to have dinner. And the place is pretty cool. It's called uh, Local Hostel. So that's the name there, Local Hostel. And all the rooms are like this, so it's almost like those colorful South American houses. Pretty interesting. <laughs> that looks cool. Yeah, I like the, the style. Even got a dog over here. Look at this guy. <laughs> Cute little doggo. <laughs> That's a bonus. Yeah, and inside we have this double bed here. They do have other ones that are shared like uh, hostels, but they do have private ones as well. But yeah, this one can fit four people. We've got a TV. Apparently it has Wi-Fi and AC. I haven't even seen the, the bathroom yet. Where's the light? Oh, maybe here. Okay, yeah, it's the simple little bathroom. And once again, an absolutely incredible day here in the Amazon. I know I keep saying that, but yeah, every day it just gets better and better. And probably tomorrow it's gonna get even better because we're gonna be visiting even more waterfalls and the guide said the best ones are gonna be tomorrow. So apparently even better than what we saw today already. So that's gonna be crazy. So stay tuned for that video. If you like this one, just drop a like to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this and we'll see you in the next one.